Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a lot of Little League Baseball games this morning. The fields are likely going to be pretty soggy to start the day, but we will be drying out, especially during the afternoon hours. Here's live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and you can see that we've got quite a bit of green covering uh, Rhode Island and nearby Massachusetts, and we're going to be seeing uh, the chance of rain probably till about 9, 10 o'clock or so. Threat tracker for today, despite the rain, I'm not expecting anything severe. Tonight, we're expecting uh, a low chance of anything overly severe, although the there is a frost advisory in effect for parts of the area. We'll talk about that in a second. For Sunday, low chance of anything uh, severe. Let's get a look at what's going on in Providence. You can see we've got some low clouds. We've got some rain here. Raindrop on the lens down in Narragansett. Looking pretty murky to begin the day. Temperatures at least are mild. 56 in Newport, 55 in Providence, Taunton 58, New Bedford right now at 56 degrees. Live weather information from Providence 57 with a calm wind up in Cumberland. 59 degrees at the moment. They've got a wind about three miles an hour. Satellite radar picture showing what's going on. Got this area of rain working through southern New England right now. Some more showers kind of upstream back edge of the clouds now across central New York State. We're going to have to wait until this whole weather disturbance works its way on off to our east before we really begin to see any drying here in southern New England. Let's time out the rain and here we are nine o'clock this morning still raining and we're likely going to continue to see it raining nine ten o'clock or so in the Providence area and probably until maybe about 11 12 o'clock at the south coast. Here we are 3 o'clock this afternoon. We'll begin to see the skies brightening up throughout the PM hours. 8 o'clock this evening might actually still be some lingering clouds, but the trend will be for drying during the PM hours. Sunday morning 8 o'clock going to be a cold start. Temperatures inland could be into the uh, low 30s, but generally we're looking at high 30s and uh, low 40s for uh, lows tomorrow morning. But look at we've got lots of sunshine expected right through the daytime on a Sunday. So your future cast for today will have the rain this morning again between 9 and about 11 o'clock or so that rain will be tapering off for a high temperature today about 65 degrees with the skies clearing out during the afternoon winds from the northwest and north 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now this evening we will be finding temperatures falling off through the 50s and uh, bottoming out likely into the upper 30s and lower 40s at least in Providence. But again we have that frost advisory for these areas in blue and that's the areas north and west of Providence, northwest uh, Providence County, uh, northern Bristol County in Massachusetts, even inland parts of Plymouth County frost advisory. So if you've got any plants out there that don't really like frost or freezes, you might want to cover them up or bring them in uh, during the uh, uh, daytime today for tomorrow morning. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast 66 degrees today. Now tomorrow looking at a high generally around 60 61 degrees or so with lots of sunshine. Look at that looks gorgeous for the daytime on Sunday. We'll likely be finding some rain showers arriving by late in the day on Monday and then a widespread rain is possible on Tuesday with uh, temperatures topping out much cooler in the mid 50s. We'll dry out for Wednesday and Thursday. And at this point in time, we could be looking at some more rain sometime uh, Thursday night and into Friday. It's a little timing issue there, but we'll figure it out over the next several days. But yeah, we're dealing with rain this morning. Mm. I think it's completely out of here by noon, generally between 9 and 11 across Rhode Island. What a different future cast from this past week, though. Yeah, it was bone dry oh, and beautiful. And yeah. we need a little rain every once in a while. Unfortunately, it's on a weekend. All right. So it goes. TJ, thanks so much. Covering New England for you this 